The Baldur's Gate 3 announcement on entirely different platforms completely kill key Xbox narratives for the past three years? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another version of The Medicine. Before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal, y'all know the reason, y'all know the slogan, I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so a lot of my console friends, uh, uh, primarily my Xbox brethren, they're upset at your boy. I get it, I understand it. Why you keep kicking Xbox in the ribs, MM2K? Because they need a swift kick in the ribs or in the arse to get them jump started so they can get their minds and, and eyes focused somewhere else instead of on scratch paper looking at numbers all day, okay? Because that's not gonna do it slick. It didn't do it with the Xbox One X and it ain't gonna do it now. You gotta have what? Games. And I've been trying to give them this swift kick in the ribs and rear end for the last couple of years and they're not listening. And it's gonna be too late by the time they wanna listen. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna continue the effort. And it is not to say that PlayStation is perfect, that Nintendo is perfect, that Stadia is perfect. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I would be hogwash to, to believe that notion. But despite the shortcomings in all those other areas, they're moving more swiftly in the right direction. Xbox's main problem is games and the type of games that they're putting forth uh, the majority of the time. You know what I'm saying? They do not operate like they got to show more AAA games. Not the only games they have to show, but AAA games have to be at the forefront because that's what the identity is all about. And I get that Phil Spencer wants to move past that, but he's doing it too recklessly. You know what I mean? And by y'all appeasing to his recklessness, y'all are actually cutting off your nose to spite your face. Don't worry about what the fanboys are saying. Worry about what's gonna be best for the longevity of the product. And powers and compute units ain't gonna do it. We need those type of games. The games that again, what? Gave the platform the identity that it has today. All right, they can walk and chew gum. They can do hardcore games and put them in the forefront and they can, you know, do their little <laughs> their grounded type games, but have those in the backdrop, right? But that being said, that's not the full purpose of this video. I precursed this video with that to say this. Another company that's really mired in a lot of controversy, a lot of ire, which is Stadia, put their best foot forward to get at least exclusive content and access to a game in a matter that Xbox should be doing, <laughs> they should have been doing, where Xbox says they can't do this. They either can't do it because of resources, because of capability, and then they made it seem like they were being fully transparent. And I'm gonna show you the reverse of all three of those things. So let's get into it. First, let's address the resources. A lot of the things that I'm hearing in the Xbox community is that Xbox just did not have the money to do the things that we want them to do, right? Like, I'm hearing things like Terry Meyer said, sent the money to some estranged wife over in, in Kurdistan. I heard the Seamus Blackley's pension is too high. I'm hearing all this crazy stuff on why Xbox, all of a sudden, the richest company in the world, didn't have any money. Meanwhile, Sony, when they were selling lampshades and the old sushi in the back of the refrigerator at the end of last gen, was giving you bangers in this gen, all right? But... Google, an unknown product, someone with equivalent, with an equivalent war chest to Microsoft. They battle back and forth for one and two in the world, right? They were able to shell out money to get exclusive content and access to one of what, what is now one of 2020's most highly anticipated games, which is Boulder's Gate. You see how easy it is? Everybody hates Google. Everybody hates Stadia. And now that Stadia dropped Baldur's Gate, you got people saying, hmm, that can't be done on current consoles. I might take a look when Stadia base drops because I really want to play that thing. You see how easy it was, okay? And they did it in a relatively short amount of time. 
if you did your research and you don't just follow the idiot herd, if you did your research like you know your boy does at IO and GDC 2019, Google told you that they didn't even have the capabilities to approach Boulders I mean, to Larian Studios, the maker of Boulders Gate. They didn't have the capabilities to do so until after Project Stream was done. Then once Project Stream was done and they took all the data from that, they were able to bump the capabilities of Stadia to what you saw with the 4K and streaming and all that other stuff and the capabilities to do all of the features that they spoke of prior to launch. That was in 2018. So in two years time, we are now seeing something being hashed out. Something that Xbox with an equivalent war chest tell you that they can't do. Stop it. Next, let's go on to capabilities. This came from Xbox with Phil Spencer himself. So I'm telling y'all, man, don't listen to this guy. Let him produce. I'm not going to say nothing too negative about him. Don't listen to his words. Let him produce before you cling on to anything. Phil Spencer went from telling you he ain't got to sell you a, I mean, he, he went from telling you that, you know, that, that clouds is something that we're looking into in the future to now he ain't got to sell you a console to back now a con, a cloud gaming is only good for when you're away from your console. Uh -uh. <laughs> because like I said earlier, Larry and studios told you that Boulder Skate has capabilities, things that they gonna do on Stadia, cloud gaming, that they can't do on your console, right? So that whole notion has been thrown out of the window, period. And lastly, let's talk transparency. Where they say, per and, you know, it, it's not a problem. You know you, you know that uh, Shannon Sharp mean, it's not a problem, not a problem. We're talking about parody. <laughs> Parody's not an issue. He, su he sat down with GTR for the thousandth episode and said, we're going to be able to scale up and scale down and bump up resolution to give you all this and all other stuff. But here's the question that, here's what I don't understand. If it was as simple as scaling things up and scaling things down, then how come, then how come they can't just scale down Baldur's Gate? and have Boulder's Gate on current consoles. Larry and Studios again clearly said, it is not capable on current consoles. So the whole skeleton, bibble babble is bull pucky. Don't listen to the guy, make him produce, okay? And on the heels of that, now that we're reflecting on all this, you're telling me that a game that I can potentially play on a web browser via Stadia can't be played on my $500 most powerful console in the world? That parody is, a, is not a big deal? Yeah, right. <laughs> and it makes you think, y'all, with the first, within the first two years of the Xbox, ser uh, Xbox Series X, that basically what you're being sold based off of what we know right now, you're basically selling me an up res box for two years of the lifespan. You're getting an Xbox One XX. <laughs> That's what you're getting for the first two years based off of what we know. Xbox simply, like I said at the beginning of this video, needs second party exclusives for the system. Even if timed, buy them. They need games. Look, my Xbox brethren, I know y'all sick of me, but again, I like I said in the previous video, I'm that friend that's stopping you from plugging that 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 electrical unit into the wall socket while your hands is wet. Y'all just don't understand the path and the pitfall that y'all about to drop into. It's time to put away the pie charts. It's time to put away the, the, the equations on scratch paper. It's time to go to Xbox and say, all right, I like that this thing got some power on the hood, but that's not to tell all be all. We wanna hear about the games. So Xbox, it's time to roll up your sleeves and start digging for pay dirt. And for Microsoft, that is hardcore AAA nuanced content. And that is the content that gave them a favorite identity in the community in the first place. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always tell you, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, TNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, here to stay the dosage. And as always, don't, what do I say? Don't fall for the okie doke. And don't get mad at me. <laughs> Y'all just have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.